Welcome to another Eco Penny video. It's going to be an unboxing and review of the Ryobi R36XLMW16. Yeah. So we've got the box here. And the wonders of editing, we're going to unbox it. So this kit includes the mower, the catcher, the mulch piece if you don't want to use the catcher, 6.0 amp hour 36 volt battery, your instruction manuals, and a charger for the battery. With this particular model, you can use two batteries for better performance and longer running time, or you can just use a battery that it comes with. So these fit these bigger Ryobi batteries and also the 5.0 amp hour, the 4.0 and the 2.0. So this is what the kit comes with. So these batteries have an inbuilt battery indicator, you just press it and if all the dots light up it means it's fully charged. The lawnmower itself has a battery indicator too. So the battery is just simply slot in. So it'll work with the battery that it comes with or you can put an extra battery in as well. You've got a safety key here. If you're ever tampering with the blades or anything like that, you want to disable the lawnmower, take the key out. It won't run without the key. can adjust the height quite simply, press this button and you can lift it up and down. So if you look here, that's the lowest level, 25 millimetres, you can lift it up all the way to 100 millimetres to adjust the cutting height. It's quite easy to take the catcher off, it just lifts out. Lawn mower won't work without the catcher engaged for safety also. So it's pretty simple to put it on. You just got to put the bottom in, rest that in the groove and it just sits there like that. If you don't want to use the catcher, in demulching mode, you get this plug which comes with it. Just insert it. So if you just want to mow the lawn and have the clippings just go on to the lawn, you can do it in that mode. You usually do that in winter if you're just giving the lawn a quick trim, but in summer you usually use a catcher because there's a lot more grass to cut. To start it, all you do is press the middle button and hold this down. You simply let go to stop the mower. You can select the different modes here with this one. EK will have a slower cutting speed to extend the battery life. Smart will vary the battery speed depending on how it needs to cut. And power will be the maximum cutting speed, but you'll have a lower battery life. You can click this button here, it will show you the battery level. So we've got the battery in compartment one. If you had the battery in compartment two, you'd have another one there too. So it's a pretty simple operation. Press the middle one, hold it down, let go to stop. So with this lawnmower, if it's not cutting good in a few years or whatever, you need to change the blade. So if you ever change the blade, key out. This one's got a hoop that gets stored in the front. So all you do is put the lawnmower on its side. If you're changing the blade, locate these bits, put the blade in the middle like that, put the hoop in, so you use a spanner to undo that, keep all this hardware because you need it to replace the blade, you only get the blade so you don't get the nut and all that bit, you get a genuine Ryobi replacement, but that's only in a couple of years when the cutting performance is reduced. So I'll just show you what it li looks like with a separate battery. It doesn't come with this one, this is an optional extra. It had two batteries. 
as long as it's a 36 volt Ryobi that's a smaller 2.0 amp hour so having two batteries gives you a longer run time and more performance so charging is quite simple comes with the charger you plug that into a standard power point make sure the button bit is facing you for this power indicators facing you just slots in there if it's green it's charged if it's red and flashing that means it's charging handy tip with the battery is when you finish mowing it's usually quite warm let it cool down before you charge it that will extend the battery life the battery powered lawnmowers are good they're quieter than petrol ones and don't have any emissions and there's less maintenance, there's less to go wrong like spark plugs, oil filters, oil changes and all that sort of thing. If you've got solar panels on your house you can even charge it using solar electricity. But even if you're using the standard power grid it's still great to have a rechargeable lawnmower. It's fantastic. Don't forget if you're mowing, wear shoes, safety glasses and gloves. Got to be safe guys. There's also a reach adjusting the handles, so you just unlock these and you can extend the handle out a bit. So I can push it in to the number two, lock it in. You can also fold the handle for storage like that. We've got two angle positions where that little bobble is. Two slots you can have a higher position if you want. Once that bit locks in there, it's locked in. That bit there blade cuts pretty close to the edge here and you've got a 46 centimeter cutting area. Eco. I hope you enjoyed this review think these lawnmowers are really great. I've got a review of an older model that I bought earlier. There's a link to that video up there. But don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel to see more, and put a comment down below if you want it. Thanks for watching. Tap the screen to make sure it's still rolling. You might have to hold it up more so it can't reach. It's alright. Ah, ah.
he's dribbling on hay.